This is a model of a floating wind turbine. Industry representatives were present during the testing of this innovative technology that may lead to a revolution in global energy production. The ekte målet er jo å få sett konseptet ute i havet og produsere energi, ren energi for verden. The purpose of the model tests in the ocean basin was to find out how the wind turbine responds to normal and extreme weather conditions. In addition, the researchers have further developed an innovative method for testing wind turbines. The most unique about this model test is that uh, the model tests are performed with the real-time hybrid uh, model testing method, uh, where we have the physical waves and, and current and uh, simulated aerodynamic loads. Um, this method that we have developed allows us to have a very large flexibility and also reduce the cost uh, for model testing. Uh, the cost is reduced because we don't have to build and uh, design a model scale uh, uh, rotor and then the flexibility is there because we can, uh, with the system we have for today, we can apply wind loads from any direction and we can also test extreme cases that could be dangerous for a physical model. Very few floating wind turbines exist in the world today. Statoil pioneered the concept with high wind. Other industrial players are now following in their wake. It happens a lot in France, Japan and other places. So, man has talked about offshore wind for a but now it's going to be a big market. Statoil also has high hopes for floating offshore wind turbines, but costs must be reduced. It's clear that we must optimize the concepts, we must get better efficiency, reduce the cost, and that process is going on now. When we get more actors on board, so we can come up with new exciting concepts, so we will most likely see an development where the cost for flytende vind kommer til å reduseres dramatisk.